home stretch here. Um, uh, we've got I mean, this is actually kind of wild when you take a look at all the states that are actually going to be protesting and what's going on in them. You've got down, of course, North Carolina, Maryland, Minnesota, New Hampshire, Idaho, Texas, Virginia. They're all getting wild. A lot of those governors, I know governors in those states, these are great governors. Even uh, Larry Hogan, who Trump is just bashing the crap out of, is a great governor who, uh, who means well. What do you take state by state? Let's just do a real quick lightning round. What do you take on what's going on in each of these states? Um, it's interesting politically because, as you just mentioned, it's not a political party thing. It's every governor in each state interpreting what's best for his state. Sometimes it's a Republican governor saying, shut it down. Sometimes it's a Democrat governor saying, well, let's open it up a little bit. And there's something else that's really, really important. One size does not fit all. When you have, say, New York City, the epicenter of infections in the United States, that in New Orleans, both of those epicenters blew up COVID-19 cases because they weren't smart enough to, A, shut down the subway system in New York that's still operating, where you pack in 50 people in a car that may or may not be wearing masks, sitting, touching the same strap, the same seat, and bumping into each other. And in New Orleans, you had Mardi Gras, and they didn't shut it down. Now, compare that to Wyoming, where you might drive for three hours and not see anybody. It shouldn't be the same from state to state. Texas has some very wide open areas where you can have millions of people, like Harris County, where Houston's located, but it's a big, big, big area. So you can't have a national policy that's the same in every state. And each economy is driven by different supporting industries. It might be oil in Houston, tourism in Miami, um, farming in Wyoming, and obviously tourism in Waikiki. You've got to be able to be flexible and figure out how to get people from going broke and crazy from no money and being locked up. And Barry, I've got to ask, before we close this particular segment out, I want to ask, in your opinion, which governors, what governor gets an A-plus, what governor gets a total fail so far this week? I'll tell you. Uh, I would give the governor of Texas, which is Governor Abbott, an A. The great He's guy. working aggressively with his uh, various mayors in Dallas and Houston uh, to begin opening industries as fast as possible. I would look at Governor Newsom in California as literally becoming so political that he wants to reshape America into this socialist totalitarian regime that in his mind, he knows best what Californians need and want. Here's a problem I have. If you're supposed to be able to exercise because that builds your immune function and fights off the virus, you're supposed to get fresh air, you're supposed to be able to move around at least alone outside, why are all the beaches closed? Why are all the parks closed? If you want to enforce some sort of limitation on the transmission of the disease, open up the beaches and tell people to wear a mask and not to hug and kiss each other and stay apart. We're adults, we can behave, we don't want to get sick, and we certainly don't want to infect anybody else. But to say you must stay locked up, you can't work. And then of all the things they've done in California, to spend $125 million on non-citizens instead of the citizens just makes me crazy. And for all of the viewers out there that are down to their last 50 bucks, and they're not getting any help. Why is the money going to foreigners instead of Californians? Absolutely mind warping, especially when you take a look at one third of the folks here, I believe it's one third, uh, will not be able to pay their rent in May. So it's really shocking. All right, that's it for uh, now. But before we go, I've got to ask Barry, what are your predictions? What's the big prediction coming up for next week? I feel strongly that the um, protests that are gonna happen this weekend are gonna start moving the governors off the dime, meaning they have got to release plans to open up their economies. I am very nervous for the long-term economic survival of America when so many people are out of work. We are literally looking at the possibility of a depression if they don't open it up. And I believe that the people, if they speak loud enough, 
persistently from coast to coast, the governors will listen. They'll follow the national recommendations from the president's reopen council, so to speak. And by next week, when we talk, I'm hoping to be able to say, hey, look, America's starting up again next week. I love it. Barry Newsbaum, you are seriously a national treasure. You're amazing. One of the best, like I said, best known attorneys, best selling author, international security expert. Join us right back here again next week for Did You Know?